All right. Yeah, do you know shit to talk about? Yeah, I have shit to talk about. Another week of the House of Wonders podcast. We got Shane here with us. Hello. And then, as usual, we'll start with our weekly adventure and what we've learned this week. Uh, I'll go first. I'm Dino, and um, I've closed the the Thai chick I've talked about last week. This week, it is it has been long, uh, and my learning point is that like you cannot you cannot rush game. You could. Just like enjoy the flow, although like every material tells me to go fast, to go fast, go fast. But I'm just like moving. Like I like slow is fast. Fast is slow. yeah. Slow is yeah. My mindset is like move, move as fast as you can. You know what Elliot House say? You know, it's gonna take as long as it's gonna take. <laughs> so you know, it's gonna take as long yeah. as it gonna take. So you don't, you can't really uh, force anything. But um, yeah. So uh, yeah, you're right. So <laughs> this week, I actually had the first time one-on-one date because the last two times was was double dates. Mm. And uh, game-wise, there's a few points. First, this girl like always challenges shit out of me. I fucking like it. And it just makes me creative. So I'm this balding Asian guy, all right? <laughs> and every time she's, she sees me, <laughs> she's like, where's your hair? <laughs> and it's just like um, a p- opportunity to me to like make more like creative, creative answers. Yeah. So far, I've been like, I got like, it's in your mouth, it, it's in space. I'm more involved than you. It's, it's okay. You can still talk with me. I know I'm the next stage of mankind. I know I'm like more intelligent than you and shit like that. You should have said I had a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> what, do you, what, do you, you know, what do you mean? I just had a haircut. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, uh, it's, just, it's just not on this thing. It's just like... Um, it's just like what Julian said before in one of the videos. Like she, she won't start shit testing you unless she likes you. Mm, that's true. So it's just like understanding the thing under under the main communication. You're like, oh, she's attracted to me, and you're just like, she's just giving you more things to play with, really. Mm. And on the date, there's some bullshit actually. Uh, apparently, a group of her friends arrived in the city. And they have no plans, and my girl feels feels bad, and she wants to meet meet them up, and then drive them to like some restaurant or some shit. Whereas the the date I set up was to eat, uh, buy something, and then cook at my place. So uh, she wanted to meet her friends. They are around, so I'm like, all right, cool, and then just briefly met them. I'm like, hi, yo, and then like mimic whatever the shit they say. And then pretty much when they're talking, the chick talks, I'm just walking away and around and around. So when we're leaving the first shop, she's pretty much, she's, she's looking for me. And then she's like, ah, that, that's where the point she told me, um, I may, I might have to drive them away for like some food. We'll come along. I'm like, no, I'm eating healthy. I need to stick to my plan. I'm going to buy food and cook anyway. You could go, you could go if you want. And then she started a conversation with it anyway. So I just went in the woods myself. So I'm, I was like, eh, it's fine. It, like, I I just totally, like, free of outcome at that point. I'm like, anyway, I'll have a good night. I'll, I'll cook some food that I like, then I'll eat. So while I'm picking stuff, she called me back. And apparently she ditched all her friends. Yeah. <laughs> and she shit. came back. Holy shit. And then I'm like, yeah, meet me. And then so I did the... I did the fifty fifty thing. I make I make her to pick uh pick drinks mm-hmm. and desserts and I, I bought like I bought fish salmon. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then uh, yeah, it's it's just, it's kinda like uh that what was that? That Tom guy talked about like girlfriend sequence or something, you get her to invest. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much my dates I like. So uh eventually I cooked and then she she washed the dishes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I like those. It's actually a lot of shit tests over that 
And she tells what like, are you a guy? Are you a gentleman? I'm like, fuck no, fuck no! <laughs> Don't get that impression of me. I'm not a gentleman. <laughs> yeah, and then just get her, get her to wash dishes. Yeah, and then after that, it was like really textbook. Watch a movie escalate sex. Yeah, so, uh, nice. Ah, and then uh, there's a line I like while we're walking, walking her to the, walking her to to her car. She told me like, if I have more hair. She will fall in love with me. Whoa. Then I was like, perfect. So this is just casual sex. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, yeah, it just went. So, so just for the record, um, just for the record, um, so how long did it take you actually uh, from opening to close? It's just... It's like last... Last Saturday two we met them. Ago. Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Mm. Okay. Yeah, this is a uh, fucking long. It's not bad. That's not two, not that long two weeks. Two weeks is not bad. It's not bad. That's yeah, good. Um, I was having a conversation with uh, Alex Dickinson, and he was saying um, he closed a girl from 2011. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, like I yeah. mean, she, she, this guy got the number at Facebook or something from 2011, yeah. and he still managed to close. So, <laughs> yeah. um, so uh, yeah. I think it's just in my mind because um, my recent mm-hmm. my recent mm-hmm. fuck ups for like the last three months are missing escalation windows, mm. so I'm actually tense when I'm kind of tense because I got that at the back of my mind. I'm like, is this a window? Just did, did I just miss one? But uh, to a certain point, I'm like, just fuck it, like just enjoy the date mm. and shit. Yeah, and um, adventure two. It was uh, adventure two. Adventure two. Uh, it was a girl I briefly met on the streets, and then I got her out on a date. But um, like just after meeting, within thirty seconds, thirty seconds, she's escalating on me. She's like holding my hand and stuff. So it's actually interesting. I afterwards I figured out like by that limited interaction with me, she actually have that feeling of I'm a I'm a guy that she could trust so uh, afterwards she's she's pretty much down at that point and she just tells me like stories of other guys chasing her like trying to buy her stuff and shit and I was like I felt like more relatable to girls like that now Mm -hmm. and yeah and I just feel like I, I I'm just happy Cause by some communicating, sub communicating, I'm more, I'm more congruent right now, and like girls actually could, could get it off me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's my week. Cool. Yeah, only you can go next. Uh, this week was um, and put up. I guess most interesting this... story ever. Most interesting thing I did today. Well, I just like pretty interesting street set where um, I felt like I was being how what um, Alex says the relatable retard the most, which I think is what Shane is really good at. Yeah, right? I, I, like, that's, <laughs> that's like all, that's, all my sets are like, like it. All Shane is, right? <laughs> it's like all my sets. I mean, like maybe I was kind of like the relatable retard, but um, less retarded. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to say it, but it was just like being like really self-amused and just basically I don't know I was just like insulting her a lot the entire time but like she was enjoying it she was having fun because I felt like she had never been treated in that kind of like way before where she gets to feel like oh this guy this guy is actually cool he doesn't like give a fuck you know he's just having fun so I'm having fun as well but what was cool was like when I sat down she was instantly like, oh, what the fuck? Are you, like, videotaping this shit? Like, why? what are you doing talking to me? Yeah. Did and she say like, that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, exactly. Yeah. So I did, like, what Taranga usually says, which is, like, um, <sighs> what, don't you think you're, like, cute enough for some random, some guy to come say you're cute and stuff like that? And then, like, that usually flips, like... You're gonna ask me, are you insecure or some shit? <laughs> <laughs> that usually, like, flips it in their mind. They're like, oh, wait, I am cute. I am, guys do want to talk to me. And they're like, all right, this is real. This is real. So, and what was cool is, like, I tried to incidate. We were sitting down on the, after, like, opening I sat down next to her and we talked for a bit. And then I tried to incidate her because, I, cause like, we were having fun. But she didn't want to. But that's form of incidate as well. Because yeah. Because she sat down with you, so, yeah. 
Okay. I mean, no, she was already sitting down there. Oh, and then okay. I sat down there. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, okay, there's no point sitting here. Let's move, right? Um, but then, like, after talking for a while, she was the one that was like, oh, it's getting late. We should go. And then she got up. We should go. So she kind of said, so it's getting late. Should We should go. I'm not sure if she said, I can't remember. I think she said, something like, we should go. But she implied that we should both go. Yep. She you know? sub- different sub-communicated it's, to you. It's not like, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's like, so we got up and we both started walking up Swanson Street. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, uh, I screened the logistics beforehand. And she lives, she lived with her brother in an apartment. And in the city. Yeah, in the city. So I felt like I couldn't like walk her all the way home, or maybe I was just bitching out. You could like, just yeah. walk her home and then leave her at the front door and leave. Hmm. Like basically, like you don't have to. Go I guess that like, that's better than not trying at all, right? Because uh. like there was one point. But you're not a hundred percent certain mm. the brother that is in the apartment. You don't yeah, know. That's true. You don't know unless you walk her there. Yeah. So maybe he he's out yeah. or like he's. Well, like I felt because she was. Constantly telling me how, like, she was, she's, like, Christian, yeah? So I'm like, fuck, yeah, my, yeah, my yeah, version yeah. of alerto meter was freaking, like, a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> since I had two versions of into me, I'm like, fuck this shit, man. Just tell her it's not sex. <laughs> Make it sexy, yeah, it's not sex. <laughs> yeah, not by sex. the way, we, um, we call um, Eranga now um, de-virginator. <laughs> <laughs> What two double had sex with one virgin, and I shouldn't be called. I mean, like man. every girl you go with is a virgin. <laughs> Fuck. Actually, it was man. The first concert, <laughs> like I, I fucking gave this chick her first kiss ever, man. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Like, and then like, uh, yeah, first, first kiss and first lay. It's like first dick girls, girls ever touched, pretty much, and all this shit like that. <laughs> Dude, it well, sucks, you're, man. You're special, man. You're special. So many awards. Not special, man. No, no. Like, actually, <laughs> chose, chose stick that shit. They're like, virgins? <laughs> really? Oh, my God. Virgin. Yeah, you're like high status among chose right now. Yeah. Um, what else was interesting? Let me think. What did you learn? Like, So, what I learned was... You like, should, like, uh, stick to the oh, end. So, something else I'm doing a lot is, like, um, I'm just... I'm smiling all the time. <laughs> Yeah. So this is like even good during like street because yeah. what I usually find is I get like really um sad. No, like I get really uh, self. I get really self pitying, which is kind of like a. It's like something I used to always do. So it's like a part of me, I guess. Like it's just like a bad habit from my earlier chode days. So I'm constantly like if I don't open, I'll just think to myself, "Oh my god, like oh, I'm so pathetic. This this is bullshit. Like it's." It's not my fault that I can't open. Everything's <laughs> against me. Blah 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 blah. Right? Which is like the dumbest fucking shit ever. So I feel like I a feel good. So depressed. Now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The energy. <laughs> you know. So like it's like a constant struggle. Like I gotta always fight against this shit. Like be smiling. So man. basically, Smile. a good way to do this is to like always be smiling. Like if you're if you're feeling shit and you're smiling, it just becomes funny because yeah. like yeah, you it's know? just like dude, I just wanna fuck kill myself. Yeah. <laughs> it's like oh my god, I hate my cause if you say shit like, dude, I wanna cut myself while you're smiling, it's like <laughs> it's, it's just funny. fucking hilarious, right? Yeah. And that's like my type of humor. Like that um black black comedy essentially is yeah. like my type of humor. So that really makes me laugh. So I feel like that's a really good way to counter it. So that's something I learned. Yeah, I think like um, if you like, let's say mentally, if you're not happy, and if you can actually act physically, yeah, you that change. you're happy, yeah, yeah. You yeah. change your that, physiology, yeah. yeah, then you can actually change. Yeah, you could well. actually so, uh, fake yourself for being, being happy. This is actually a big part of game, right? yeah, yeah, pretty much so. Mm. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Yeah, I should. Yeah. If you're feeling bad, I used to do is like. I'm gonna role play the happiest person on earth mm. for like thirty seconds. Mm. Then I could like if that doesn't doesn't work, you could be be sad again. <laughs> but probably like uh, over like a hundred percent, it works. Mm. It's like, hey, what would the most happy person do right now? Mm. Oh, look, a tree. Is there, <laughs> is there squirrels on it? <laughs> Does they have like grenades? Are they throw grenades at people? Yeah. I think people use that for like um like when they do presentations and stuff like that. When they're nervous, they try to act in a way that. Yeah, like convey that they are confident yeah. but even though they're acting that way 
it actually helped you to be like, more confident. Yeah, yeah, even though they're not not confident. Your emotions will catch up with your yeah, action. Yeah, actually, yeah. yay, Mister Tarang. T. Oh, okay. T. No wait, wrong. Would you learn it? I told you about this. Oh. How to get pay attention, it. bro. Pay attention. My bad. Fuck your field report. <laughs> <laughs> um, field report. What? Okay, so the most interesting thing that happened. Not much, to be honest. It was a pretty boring week, I think. Yep. Um, just a few lays. Dude, just dude, <laughs> no, like get laid. Dude, are you kidding me? Hustle, actually, no, no, okay, Hustle okay. One's got the most action ever. In, like, actually, no, actually, no, no. Okay, a lot of cool. Okay. No, that's that's actually true. true. It's like we pulled, so I pulled over like. Yeah. Every single day, there's been a chick in our house, like, <laughs> not always getting fucked, but she's always been in someone's room, try, someone's trying to fuck her. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, okay, I pulled on Monday, uh, that chick end up, ended up being a virgin, so I was like, yeah, fuck <laughs> this shit, right? And then, and then I pulled this Japanese chick on, like, what day like, was the, day, the day after, on Tuesday. See, this is boring for you, this is actually <laughs> <laughs> like, you be boring for him. <laughs> <laughs> and this could be it was weird it was well. weirdest shit ever because I tried to escalate on her and she would always be like there'd be a lot of resistance and she would always be like I'm too shy I'm too shy and it was fucked up because I don't know I like constantly tried to escalate and I backed off and one stage I was just on my computer looking at emails some shit <laughs> and I come back and try to escalate and she's like no I'm too shy and then I like try to bite her neck and stuff then I like pushed her onto the mattress and I was just like dry humping her from behind. And then she was still like, I'm too shy, I'm too shy. <laughs> and then at one stage she was like looking into my face and touching my, my face and shit, just like caressing it. And she was saying, uh, you're so cute, uh, you have such beautiful eyes. <laughs> and I'm Sri Lankan, right? And so she was like, I like Sri Lankan boys, right? <laughs> you should make that a t-shirt. You should make that a t-shirt. I love I'm like, Sri Lankan. And in my head, I'm like, I'm thinking, what the fuck? Why are you having sex with me, right? <laughs> Is this the one you had an instant date? Yeah, this yeah. one I had an instant I think it's an Asian thing. It was weird. I think you could do it anyway. <laughs> I know, and... Uh, and then I tried qualifying her. I was like, oh, I really like spending time with you because you look at life so simply. And I'm such a logical person. And I look at life in such a like a complex way. And then when I'm with you, I feel like it's so much easier. <laughs> and she, I think she liked that. But I don't know. She's, I don't think she believed me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's my most interesting thing. That, well, yeah, funny thing that happened. In terms of what I learned, I think I mainly learned a lot of stuff yesterday. And um, like when I talked to girls, like, what, excuse what? me, you went to you went to another girl's house after the Japanese girl, right? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. See, okay. see, <laughs> boring week. So after the Japanese chick, I met up with this other chick, right? And she's still on her fucking period. Okay? Seriously? Yeah, like ten days. It was like ten days. Take she was only straw. like a ten day period or some shit. Because like on the first night, like she let me like get to her pants like really quickly. And then it's only after she found out she had a period that she was, like, really, like, she didn't let me go anywhere near there. And it was, like, the same, like, this particular night. And so I was like, what the fuck? Doesn't she want to, like, have sex with me or some shit? And then at one stage, like, I'm just, like, I'm just, like, I want to I wanna lick it. Like, I just look at her and, I'm, and I say, I want to lick it, right? And she's like, no. And I'm like, why? Why not? And she's like, you're not going to like the reason why. And then I'm like, what's the reason? And she's like, I'm still on my period. I'm like, what the fuck? And she's like, yeah, I'm, I'm like, wait. I, I said, I'm like, I don't understand. And she said, yeah, I'm having like a really long period. I'm like having a 10-day period or something. And I'm like, oh, okay. And yeah, that's, that's, and she's then having I like, a 10-day period challenge. But, but that's just yeah. the, blood, the, the, the amount of blood that yeah. come out reduce yeah. each day. So okay. you can still fuck with that. I know, but she was just like, <clears throat> like whenever, I, <laughs> whenever I tried to touch... Yeah, she was just really, like, she got really tense whenever I did that, basically. Mm. So I was like, yeah, fuck this. And um, and I could have, like, is she was really sleepy as well. So is it projecting from you, though? The, uh, I don't think, I think so. she's stayed horny. over. You could have fucked her in the morning. Yeah, but, uh, but yeah, you're, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. But, the, but there's always next time. Yeah, who cares? I'm probably gonna see her again. She started. She's like texting me, man. So it's all that like, abundance. <laughs> so yeah, that um, abundance. Okay, probably the thing I learned today. I mean, like yesterday was that when I talk, I tend to talk from my throat a lot, 
and it's like the way I took it's it's not grounded or anything. So I mean like took from my my diaphragm or like in a deeper voice or like put some like oomph behind the stuff I say. And when I talk to girls, it's like I'm trying to like well, especially at night, I'm just like my mentality is oh, I'm trying to keep them there, otherwise they're gonna leave when mm. I stop talking, right? That's a really bad way of mentally mm. like communicating to her. Like even if you're even thinking that way when you talk to her, she's like she's just gonna not be interested. So you need to make that shift to just talk to be amused, and she needs to join your party or whatever. So yeah, that's the main thing I learned from last night. So you're overdoing it. You're like doing a hundred percent. Yeah, I'm like overdoing. No space for her to join Definitely. the party. No, 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 not like that. I'm, yeah, actually, yeah, you're right. Kind of like that. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Shane, right. pretty much. Yeah. Um, Shane, what's up, bro? I don't know. Um, it's a pretty boring week for me as well. Yeah, uh, just a few lays like him. Yeah, just yeah. a few pulls here uh, and there. No, actually, I didn't lay. I didn't have any sex. Uh, this week doesn't matter. Um, no one cares. But but I I, I guess I'll start with uh, what I learned. Yeah. Um, Valuable lesson. Like I mean, out Thursday and I mean out Friday night as well. Yeah. What I find is that um, like at the beginning of the night I do really well. Yeah. And like after like I don't your know, passion slowly you, dies off. Yeah, like my passion slowly dies off, and then uh, I don't know. I don't have that much motivation. Yeah. Um, I think I had like two, three girls that actually liked me. Yeah. But but I didn't really uh, chase them that much. Yeah. Um, that's something I learned. Um, I gotta get. I guess I gotta be more persistent. Yeah. Um, Why yeah. didn't you go further though? Like, what's your inner inner dialogue like? It's more like like because you open a set like twice, right? And yeah. then you, use, um, I don't know. You feel like you wanna find someone else. Um, uh-huh. it's yeah. like, because you went back twice and then like I don't know it's like okay I want to find someone else kind of like more like being greedy you guess, there's like, a little bit like awkwardness yeah I guess so. that, that as well yeah yeah because, it fucks me up too yeah um, but I guess that's something I want to probably <coughs> work with tonight yeah uh, that's a problem that's a problem for me as well yeah just gotta remember the four times rule yeah four that's times it four t- yeah, yeah. Um, I want to because I'm going we're planning to go out tonight so I'm gonna change that try to change it yeah and, um, just yeah. just go to open I think more as well um, because I opened like maybe three sets last night yeah oh, really yeah, you opened a lot no way man really yeah I, I saw you open a lot yeah. I don't know like I mean like three hook sets I mean. <laughs> yeah yeah so it's not enough I guess mm-hmm. and end of the night I didn't open that much I was like looking at you guys <laughs> and um Looking at my friend that you yeah. <laughs> who brought in, and he was saying, uh, "You guys are too needy, man." He's yeah. like, "You guys, you guys need to calm down." Oh, and okay. like, I'm like, uh, "But he, his style is different. You know, you can't really compare." Yeah, yeah. True, true. He's but just, he's just again, trying to help. Probably something to learn from. Yeah, that's well. probably, yeah. Pro- we yeah. probably are. <laughs> <laughs> we're like we're like crazy. We're like open all open. all of the sets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. But like, I think you guys. Open quite softly, like no, personally. We, I think you're, you're like that. Your guys like tap tap high. That's, no, it's that's not really soft. A, yeah, but I guess it's more like we just stand in the middle of the like hallway or something, and we open every girl who walk past. Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it's right or wrong. But um, they will like they will backwards rationalize if if it hoax. Mm. So, I think yeah. it's more that we need to Imagine like we need to step. keep moving like yeah. we can stay somewhere for a few minutes but you have to move the location. Yeah. It's like if you gotta constantly be moving, like yeah. when you go to the location, open straight away, then move from that location. Yeah. Open straight away. Exactly. Then move. Yeah. Cause like when we watch natural dudes, that's Yeah, what they they're do. all like when you watch the naturals, move, they're constantly in the fucking move, man. Yeah. And when they after they move, they just like boom, they they're like set, man. They it's they move in set. Move yeah. in set. Move in set. It's like they don't move, stand stupid. around, wait for a set to they walk either, past. They're either like there. moving around, they move somewhere, they like either talk to their friend, they like talk to some girl, they like fucking open another girl, or they like just like dance some shit, and they're constantly doing one of those three things. And he always has like, the guy I watched anyway, he had like this three thing. goals or some shit. Yeah, there's like momentum around. as well, you know, yeah. you just keep, you have positive energy. Actually, so you're saying like, you guys are more like camping. 
Whereas, yeah, pretty much. Whereas, like, I mean, the I mean, yeah, we, are making things we do, happen, like slowly. We do move a little bit, but but I guess it's more like we should be like there's like five six guys standing in one place yeah. and yeah. opening like everyone <laughs> who walk past. It's kind of it's you know, like if it's, someone's looking at at yeah. us, it's kind yeah. of weird. Yeah. Um, but like you see other there's like other groups of PA guys there as well, right? I think they're like we call them the older generation, and we're like the new generation. Yeah, so <laughs> so they dress like, like mystery. Yeah, so the old. They all peak off. I mean, the shit. older generation has been doing it for longer than, than us, and like it's weird watching them because there's like one guy that takes most of the action, and all the other dudes just like watch him. <laughs> this guy's like with one chick, and all the other guys are just leaning against the wall, just like all watching him. It's like <laughs> fucked up. It's pretty um, funny. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. This I'll tell. Uh, I'll tell you an interesting story, which I think I told you guys. But here we go. Um, this is this happened like probably. A month ago, maybe more. Um, so I was uh, day gaming and I was in a set, and and the set is going well and she seems interested. And I see this is two other girls coming towards me, and one girl tap on me and then say hi, right? And yeah. then and this is another girl I opened like before I don't know, before. She's still so, and I can't remember. Any of the girls' names, right? Yeah. So I can't really say, okay, here's <laughs> this, yeah. you know, yeah. meet each other. So I'm like, yeah. oh, okay, this is this is my friend, meet. I'm like, yeah. yeah, I didn't say the name. Yeah, meet her. Or yeah, just too. meet her or something like that. Yeah. And and then they like, and I ask, are you Malaysian? Yeah. Um, and then she say, no, I'm not Malaysian. And then she kind of knew what the hell is going on. And then she asked the other girl, how do you know this guy? Yeah, and then the other guy is like, "Oh, he just came and talked to me on the street, right?" Yeah. And the other guy's like, "He did the same thing to me, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right?" So I'm like, "Fuck me!" <laughs> you know? It's like I have mm. no okay, uh, because the other girl has been texting me as well. Like, I mean, uh, like it's really uh, going well. So, yeah. uh, so, yeah, so yeah. now you know, I thought they both fucked, but um, so I, I had a chat with the girl. It's actually not that bad. Mm. Yeah. Um, so the two girls that came later. So I had a, I had a chat with them for a while. Yeah. And I say, okay, um, I'll talk to you later. I'll send you a text or something like that. Yeah. And then they left, and the other girl was standing there while I'm talking to the other girl, like playing yeah. with her phone and shit. Yeah. All right. And um, I think it's all in your head. Just make her jealous. Mm. I, she was jealous. <laughs> she was. <laughs> she she she, she was jealous. I know. I know. Make yeah. her more jealous. And then um, so so I. So I talked to her for like another like ten minutes, and I end up getting the number. Like at the beginning, she said like, nah, "Nah, I don't, I don't give numbers to strangers and stuff like that." See? I say, I say, we're not strangers. We know our names. <laughs> like, uh-huh. like, what's, what's, what's my name? I'm like, uh, Karim. <laughs> 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 does, does she remember your name though? Uh, yeah, she did. <laughs> Just tell her, like. But anyway, anyway, so so I end end up getting the number. But the 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 point is that I end up closing the the <laughs> the, the two the the two girl who, two yeah the two said that came later yeah. to the set, but the other girl never replied. Uh, but but I guess it's more like so the other girl knew that you know like this fucker is a, yeah, fuck yeah, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of like put my state up so yeah um, so that was good that's fucking awesome that's yeah. but, but like you need to rock that identity now yeah that's kind of what what I want to talk about. Like on my second story, yeah, like I can't, like, I can't really approach any Malaysian. Like I mean, I can like all the Malaysian girls. Like they're like, yeah, like uh, they're like, ah, uh, I think you talk to my friend. Yeah, <laughs> like, do you do salsa? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm like, yeah, whatever. So, what do you do for fun? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's why. Like the the question I ask, yeah. just to ignore mm. yeah. whatever they say. So, uh, but yeah, um, I think girls will respect the kind respect of respect you as well. But who but, you are, if you like, but, act like genuinely. Yeah. But then, yeah, it's like a I don't know. It's it's good and bad. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. All right. Uh. Guess section. Guess section. What's the guess section? Okay. We'll ask you like fucking questions. All right. That's badass, right? 
Yeah, it is. Yeah. So Shane, how did you get in the pickup? All right. Um, Mr. Shane? I was in a relationship for three years. Yeah. And then I broke up. And then I was like... She cheated pretty, on you? Not really. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> actually, I broke up. So, I mean, we we were like getting back together on and off. Yeah. For like a year. Uh, like, I mean, we were together three years. Yeah. But after like two years, we had problems. So... Yeah. But but still, we were together for yeah. a year. And then we broke up suddenly. Like, eventually, we broke up. Yeah. And um, so after that, I was like, you know... I like sex. <laughs> I, I need lots I of sex. I like sex. Yeah, so so, so um, the problem was sex. Yeah, the problem was sex. <laughs> so I, I wasn't get, getting any. So, oh, all right. <clears throat> after breaking up. All right. Yeah. Um, so I started looking at like David D'Angelo stuff. That's where I started. Mm-hmm. Like, um, same, same. Really? Yeah, um, same. I started David with David D'Angelo, this, this psychiatrist. Hmm. He had this, like, I don't know. Dr. Like Paul? A, Dr. Paul, yeah. See? See, I'm it's like a, just like a uh, like actually... five-CD uh, program. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's like three days or something, two days or something like yeah. that. Yeah, that's the first, like, most successful pickup yeah. product, man. Yeah, I remember, like, first time I, I listened to this, and then it's like, and then you're going to be alpha, right? And then I'm like, you can't be nice to girls. That's like, kind of say... No, he talks about something like, Cocky funny. Yeah, something. cocky funny or something. Like, okay, I'm, yeah, that's I'm so gonna, old school. Yeah, now. it's like, I'm going to be cocky, right? So I, I go to a club. I'm like, uh, hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, I was expecting her to like walk off or something, yeah. right? Yeah. And she's like, hey, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, what's up? <laughs> what the hey, fuck? What's up? Hey, what's up? <laughs> and I'm like, uh, I think I'm going to meet my friend. <laughs> so I left. <laughs> so that's your first approach. Yeah, like after like. That's really good. Yeah. I feel like the most like like indirect 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 shit is ever. I think I walked into a store with a, there's a cute girl there. I'm like, I'm gonna buy my sister something. <laughs> <laughs> That's an old shit. Yeah. You got any like suggestions and stuff? Then I like got her number or something. I'm like, <laughs> fuck I got a number <laughs> And she's not texting me and shit. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, and then after that, um I mean it was it was cool. And um after that I saw um, simple pickup video. Same, um, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, same path. But I, We're brothers. But but, but uh, I didn't really believe it. Um, yeah. I mean, it was funny, yeah. but I didn't believe it. So I yeah. was like, uh, okay, whatever. Yeah. And then I went back to David D'Angelo. Wait, wait, like wait. Most so did simple pickup hit you? Because what Jesse Jesse is like brown. Is that what hit you? No. No, it, it no. didn't really like matter to me. It's it's just like just you just going on randomly to girls and asking for numbers is pretty like I thought it's pretty weird, weird pretty. and fake. Yeah. And um after that It's happened? just not in your reality. Yeah, 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 not in my reality. And then after that I was reading more stuff of uh David D'Angelo stuff. Yeah. And then I saw Sasha Day yeah. Game. And I'm like Oh, okay. And after seeing that, I was like, kind of like hit me. Yeah. Were like, you taking action or you're just like video no, mode at home? No, that's the point that, I mean, after watching Sasha's video, that's the, that's the time it hit me. Uh, shit, you know? Yeah, this it's is possible. True. This is possible. I can do this shit. And then after that, I started watching lots of Sasha Dege videos and then Yard. Yeah. Um, Yard. Yeah. Yard stuff. Yard Day Game stuff. And yeah. Then, yeah. It's good, but... But then, like yeah, simple pickup stuff. Yeah, and then finally, like you know, like I was like, okay, fuck, I'm gonna do this shit, right? Uh so on a Saturday, I don't know, like three o'clock or something. So I just get out of the house, and like, and I see every girl on the street. I'm like, should I? Should I should open this. I should open this. I should open. This, I should open this, right? <laughs> so many girls. There's so many girls now. And um, um, <laughs> the finally, I saw this really cute girl. Um. I'm like, fuck, I gotta open this. Yeah. yeah. And um, I, was, I think I followed her for like 45 minutes. <laughs> I didn't end up opening. So I'm like, oh, fuck me. Follow her for 45 yeah, minutes. Yeah, uh, but I didn't, I didn't open that's it. That's persistence, right? man. Yeah, and then the I went home and I'm, I felt pretty shitty. It's like, what the fuck, fuck you fuck. doing? I'm a stalker. It's like I, it's like, I didn't know anyone as well. I mean, I didn't know there was a community yeah. or like, yeah. I didn't. It's like, I'm on my own. I'm yeah. on my own. No and like, walls, just, yeah. yeah, I'm like, just working on, yeah, just working by myself. Anyway. Um, so the next week, so I'm like, okay, fuck this week, I'm going to do it. 
Right. <laughs> so the duration is a week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For because, your like, yeah, cool because I work full time, so I'm like, I'm not uh-huh. gonna do it during the day, but like weekdays. So next week, I'm like, yes, fuck, I'm gonna do this right. So I open. So this is another girl, right? And yeah. I follow her for probably like another forty five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Less than forty five this time. <laughs> probably forty five minutes, and I'm like, um, and I remember what happened last week. It's like, you know, if you didn't open and if you go home, you're going to feel shit. Yeah. You're going to fucking open. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And then I, and I went out, right? And I'm like, I think I was shaking and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, yeah. You will, you will. And like, hi. Yeah, I think you're cute or something like that. I can't remember yeah. what I said. Yeah. yeah. But I re- remember her, right? Yeah. Um, you, you always remember the first set. Um, <clears throat> but I think she was really nice. She was really nice to me. Yeah. Um, it's like here's a fake number. Fuck yeah, off. She didn't really give give me the number. Yeah. Um. She was nice. I think she's like, oh, that's very sweet of you. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Um. I think if she wasn't nice, I would have probably go home and cry. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> <Wait. laughs> but uh. So but, you eventually like opened the girl you followed for forty five. Yeah, yeah, I did. That's and, really good. And then she's like, um, she's like, you know, there's some other beautiful girls you should talk to them I have a boyfriend and blah 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 yeah like, okay and then I opened another like two sets I can't remember what happened but I mean yeah. I just opened and then just yeah. like I didn't get a number yeah. obviously and I went out for like another f- like two three weeks yeah and I was like opening few sets I would open like one I got a few numbers I would text uh, you know Not here and there happened, yeah. and then finally one day I was in a tram stop, right? And I was tram tram stop, and um, so you're still by by yourself. At I'm this still point. by myself, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I see this is girl like on tram stop, and she's pretty hot. And I went and talked to her, right? And, and she's she's a she's a dentist apparently. Yeah. And so you like you have nice teeth. Yeah, you have nice teeth and stuff like that. And so anyway, I end up getting the number, and so we went on a date. Yeah, uh, I was like really like trying to be a cocky as fuck, right? And then and then she's yeah. like, "What's wrong with this guy?" <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how's, the, how's the wisdom deep, girl? How's the wisdom deep? Uh, and then it's like it ended up like shit. So she yeah. never replied. Yeah. And then yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, and then like after that, I mean like after that, I met Fook. Yeah, that's it. First guy, and then like we did some. Oh, uh, do we get a fuck on podcast? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fuck on we, we had, did you have fuck? No. Uh, he's he said here. Oh, anyway, I'm like, um, he was one of like he was like that one time we had like eight people. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, and oh, okay. But so anyway, so what happened after? Uh, you met fuck. Yeah, met I met fuck, and then we did then some um, you. what do you call this social freedom stuff? Yeah. And Yo, tell us, oh, what, tell tell us, tell us about how he say that. Remember how he taught you about it? What's he like? Oh, you need, you need. You, need you it. tell you like told him your worries, and it's like ah, I don't want you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like I was like, um, there was this really good looking girl. Uh, it's another girl, trans, trans top and right. And um, I wanted to talk to her, but there were like many guys around her. Yeah, so I'm like, nah, I don't want to. I don't want to talk to her because yeah. this guy's gonna look at me. I'm gonna feel like an idiot. Yeah, and then like she's like. No, you need the uh, social freedom. Right? <laughs> yeah, what you need? You need, <laughs> you need social, social, freedom. social freedom. Social freedom. <laughs> so he asked Google me it. to do some great, like some uh, I don't know, like uh, Karate Kid move stuff <laughs> in front of um, uh, Konoff, Berg, and Sonsten. So I was in. Um, yeah, I did. I don't know. No, I did some push ups. I don't do karate. I did push ups, and yeah, I I asked. Uh, I went to random people and just asked them, will you marry me and that kind of stuff. Yeah. And that's actually put me in mood. Like, that was like the first time I experienced God mode. Oh, yeah. oh. I was like God mode after that. You're going God mode. Yeah, yeah. And then I got like heaps of numbers that day. Yeah. I'm like, fuck, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually start, started enjoying it. Yeah. yeah. And, um, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And then it's like, after that, the, the next day I wake up, I'm like, what happened? I don't have God mode anymore. <laughs> where's God mode? Yeah, where's God mode? Where did God go? <laughs> and oh, is God? Yeah, and then, like, I got the number from Fook and then I, I, I said to him, uh, we should go out sometime, you know, like, we should yeah. hit, hit, You're really hit the cute. straights, yeah. You're really cute, we should go out um, sometime. And then, yeah, like, we, coffee? like, he was, like, busy and stuff, he, he was doing some other things, so, so I had my own, you know, 
missing life. So I didn't really catch up with him that much. But anyway, so um, how how long was this? This is like I don't know, year ago, maybe a year ago. A year ago. More than a year ago. Oh. More than a year ago. Anyway. All action happened after I set foot in Melbourne. <laughs> mm. Yes. But anyway, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Anyway, so um Yeah, I don't know. Should I take my first close? No. no. Question T E. Yeah, what was Where your you first know? close, man? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, it's a good story. <laughs> is, is it a good story? I don't know. Um, was it the like? What's like the funniest, most crazy like um, clothes? clothes or whatever. You know, or like, I cra- what's the craziest like way you've gotten sex or whatever? Like, had, had sex. What's the craziest yeah. way? Like, like, like the one you most remember for that time. Apart from the first one. Apart from the first one. First time. Um, I get I pulled from the street a couple of times. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Um, uh, and the other thing is that she's like, I don't know, like. Four or five inches taller than me. Yeah, <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, it's like you, you, what I normally do is like I just I don't know, just walk with them and just take them to Yarra River, and yeah. then normally meet up with them. Meet normally meet up with, with them, them if they're not a guy. Yeah, and then like try to try escalate. to yeah escalate and go to my place pretty much. Yeah. Or if they live in the city, try to, to go to their place. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, um, t- tell us about your bathroom pool. Man. Yeah, your bathroom pool, man. <laughs> tell us about your bathroom pool. <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, I'll tell you some other day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes. Why? Why? What are you saving it for? This is, uh, okay. Um, so, how do you feel like games helped you from in, like, other parts of your life? Yeah. Uh... Like especially at job, I think I feel more confident. Like like talking to bosses and stuff, you know, when they like try would, to alpha you. Yeah, if they try to alpha me, I just don't feel anything. Uh, I just be like, <laughs> <laughs> I see, I, I see. see. Like, <laughs> it's like I would say some crazy shit and they would laugh. Yeah, and it's kind of make me yeah so because make I can handle badass. situations. Yeah, I can handle situations that I guess. More chaotic. Or... More, no, like compared to the other people that I work with, I yeah. can handle situations better. Yeah. Like difficult situations, stressful situations. Yeah. Do you get a raise after getting getting in pickup? Um, like, I think the job I work right now, I got got it just because of gaming. As in, I mean, I'm not call, like the qualification they need. I didn't. I didn't even have half of it. Yeah. <laughs> so like. So you game. I think the... I was like more like there was like. To be, yeah, I was like like really like personable with them. Yeah. Like I was like I don't know. I was in state at that day or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, like I was, interview. Yeah, yeah, interview. Like it's like I was yeah, like really like yeah, yeah. really really like I, think I don't you know. Like, get in state I was like it. very personal with them. I was like yes. I don't know. It was it was the first time. Anyway, yeah. And oh well, uh, well actually, um, I can talk about the bathroom pool if you want. Yeah, why not? Tell us what you learned from it. What you learned? What did you learn? Learn from, from it. Yeah. Bath- bathroom pool is possible. Uh, yeah. that well, I wasn't. I wasn't going to open here, so mm-hmm. that's a, fucking open. That's, that's fucking what open. you learned. That's a, that's a, that's a <laughs> so that's like something I remember you told yeah. me. You're like, because whenever you you like look at a chick and then you're like, nah, and then you like turn around, then you like look back at her and like, fuck yeah, but I go. Yeah. Yeah. And like sometimes you tell me it's like, I've, so many times I've like looked at a chick yeah. and then thought to myself, I shouldn't, I'm not going to open her. Yeah. And then like I do and then I like close. Yeah, pretty yeah. much, yeah. pretty much, pretty much. Fuck, man. <laughs> fuck. Yeah. That, that, yeah, that bathroom pool was pretty, um, she was actually bi. Yeah. Um, she said, but I met her on Burke Street. She was from New Zealand. Yeah. And she was here for like, I don't know, 10 days or something like that, five yeah. days, whatever. <clears throat> and we had an instant date and I could see that she's very responsive. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> I was like touching her hand and stuff after like, I yeah. got five minutes or so. So, um, I took her to Gin Palace. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah, my yeah. favorite place, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's OP, man. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, it's like cheat codes. Cheat codes to a woman's vagina. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gin Palace. So, at Gin Palace, it was like, we had our kind of like own room, like no one, there was no one else in that. Yeah. Uh, so we was we start making out and it was, you know like pretty, pretty very physical, 
and she says she has to go in, uh, I don't know, 35 minutes or something. Yeah. So I'm like, uh, I can't take her to home. That's going to be too late. <laughs> yeah. So I... Holy <laughs> shit, what a hard close. <laughs> yeah. So hard. I'm like, okay, let's go to the Melbourne Central. She says she wants to buy some shit or something like that. I thought, yeah. okay, let's go to Melbourne Central. There's shops there. Yeah. So I took her to Melbourne Central and we walk around and I'm like, um, so at one point we were really making a really highlight yeah. at corner and then like, like um let's do something really crazy mm. right. <laughs> i grab her hand and then yeah. went to the disabled toilets Wait, which one the, that's the, why the they're all taken like, man the second 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 uh oh, the, you know the Melbourne central, Melbourne central. Oh, oh shit you know the one with the food court that you, you yeah, like, yeah yeah you know like oh my god male, males want it on the like road. i swear after i've been in <laughs> oh the game god. i've been always paying attention to like disabled <laughs> toilets you're like they're always <laughs> occupied man <laughs> Always yeah. occupied. And the other good spot is one in Kiwi, like the baby changing place or whatever. It's pretty uh, pretty spacious. And it's like, like baby powder. So yeah. That smells like good. Nice, nice, nice table. And, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice and table to get the check up on too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you uh, break down your game for us? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Because you know how sometimes you say shit and then yeah. me and Taranga start analyzing it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah man, so. I don't actually, I don't know. I don't, think much when I say stuff yeah. uh, I just say well, that's, whatever that's like what <laughs> just like whatever I say whatever I feel like yeah. pretty much being congruent um, sometimes I think my problem is that like when I'm not in state or when I'm not really like I don't know like let's say you work like from 9 to 5 and then I do a very logical uh, job oh, right so yeah. when I come out of job and then I straight away you know go and open and if I start saying like you know like stuff I normally say that's not gonna work yeah because you know like that energy is not there. that yeah. that energy is not there yeah. so you gotta like build it up um, mm. slowly so it's like I mean I I don't know I I believe like it's like uh, when you when you go out you gotta um, it's like, like, you know, if you, if you are, if you're Michael Jordan, you know, you gotta, you know, like before playing a, a game, he, uh, you warms know, stretch, up. yeah, warms up. So you gotta warm up, uh, when you, when you actually, you know, um, mm. going to a club or whatever, doing day game. Yeah. Gonna push up the state. Yeah. Mm. Cool, 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 cool. Actually, um. Uh, you reminded reminded me of something. Actually, like last Sunday, I was in a really bad mood. I nearly forgot this. I I fucked up that pool. So there's this girl from Gold Coast, and uh, she's going back, going back uh, the other day. Then I opened her. We walk around the city. She's looking for a poke, and eventually I just kind of played too slow, and I didn't have a solid plan. So, and then eventually she's telling me things like, do you know I'm tired? Are you tired? <sighs> I'm like, fuck, this is a pool. Do some shit. And then, yeah, I just my mind just became blank. And then she just left me. I'm like, oh, all right, see ya. Hmm. But like, like, like the other time, I just came up with the perfect line after she yes. left me. The perfect line was, there's this bookstore near Melbourne Central. It's like, it might still be open. Let's go check out if, if they have the book. And then while we walk past our place, I'm like, oh, I need to do, use the bathroom. Come, <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's fucking it. Or you could just like, you don't even need to like yeah. even say I need to use my bathroom. You just walk inside, and she's like, Oh, where are we going? So like, oh, I need to take a piss before you go to the bookstore. Mm. Yeah. yeah, just be like, Oh, the bookstore's in here. <laughs> <laughs> I got books. Right. I fucking got books. And you just like put your laptop on. Say books in here. Yeah. Shit. Yep. So. That's cool. that. That's what the game is like. The fucking like emotional roller coaster. Yeah, uh, what I I'm found, in a really good place today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think what I found is that like, let's say if you get rejected, like, I, I mean, I haven't experienced this at, at night game yet. But for me, day game, right? Like, let's say, um, you get rejected, right? And straight yeah. away, like, you open another set. It normally goes well because I don't know. You have that energy. Hmm. Uh, even though it's like you get rejected, you yeah, got rejected. So but it's like you try to get rejected in a way like it's not you pushing out. Yeah. It's actually so you actually proper rejection. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. You, proper so rejection. That's kind of like yeah. So when you get rejected, fucking open another set like quickly as possible. 
Yeah, or you lose the momentum from that rejection yeah. as well. Like, because otherwise you're going to be in your head. Like, yeah. like, yeah, so like fucking yeah. sad. So fucking sad. sad. All right. Anything else? I think yeah. we should get to this, hit the streets, man. Yeah. All right. Streets. Hit the streets. All right, see you guys. Talk to girls. Thank Bye. You.